Wouldn't it be great if our sons were taught in school that becoming good fathers and devoted husbands is a heroic ambition? My name is Helen Spivey Van. I'm the Christian People's Alliance candidate for Hornsey and Free and Barnet. I would like to talk briefly about our five core values. Number one, strengthening marriage and the family. Stable marriages create a strong society. We only realise what we are missing when it's gone. Family breakdown is costing the nation 51 billion a year, which particularly affects unmarried couples with children. In 2023, there were over 38,000 children entering the care system and over 100,000 who are already living with foster carers. Then there's the sobering correlation between kids with absentee fathers and protracted caps on their chromosomes, signalling trauma. This is a heartbreaking symptom of family breakdown in the UK. To tackle these injustices, we offer grants of £12,000 for first time marriages on the condition the couple attends five sessions of training to build resilient relationships. For example, learning how to resolve conflicts and manage anger. We would also offer a child's grant of £6,000 when their first child is born, again, provided they attend child rearing classes. Number two, the sanctity of life. A baby has its own unique DNA. Its heart starts beating by 21 days after conception. Sad to say, but not all babies are wanted in the UK. Not all women are cherished. Sex without commitment is a driver for relationship poverty and one symptom is abortion. This kind of sex is what is taught in school RSE. And the NHS does nothing to raise awareness of the safest setting for relationships, nor connect up the 250,000 in 2022 unwanted babies with adoptive parents who are desperate to give them a loving home. We would turn this on its head, advocating respect for both mums, babies, also dads and parenting. Number three, making tax fair and caring for the poor. Currently, VAT is paid by the buyer, but the sellers don't pay anything and this creates a loophole exploited by multinationals, for example, Google and Starbucks. They use offshore accounts to avoid paying their fair share of taxes. We propose a 5% turnover tax to tackle this. It will be offset against corporation tax, making it fairer for UK businesses. Of the 40 billion raised, 12 million would go towards restoring cuts to benefits and remove the five week waiting period for universal credit. We would raise the personal allowance income tax threshold to 15,000, lower national insurance premiums, as well as reducing national debt. Number four, fighting crime. Last November, a government think tank on knife crime concluded that father figures, mums, dads and stable family life will do more to prevent knife crime than existing police measures such as curfews, media campaigns and knife amnesties. Our pro-marriage and family policies will prevent knife crime by supporting mums and dads stay strong in their relationships. In addition, we would guarantee everyone who leaves prison a place to live. We would also expand successful projects like Saltbox in Stoke, who have reduced reoffending from the national average of 38% to below 10%. Number five, supporting persecuted Christians. Christians are the most persecuted group in the world. The Open Doors World Watch List ranks countries persecution and danger. Nine out of the top 10 are under Islamic oppression and 31 of the top 50 similarly. Last year, almost 5,000 Christians were murdered in these countries. A few days ago, F Father Nikolai Kotelnikov had his throat slit in Dagestan and seven others killed. His church was burnt down with over 30 injured, plus two synagogues were burnt down in the same attack. This is one typical day in the life of persecuted Christians worldwide. Christians, minority Muslim sects, Druze and Jews are all affected by Islamic oppression and terrorism. Palestinian apostate Mosab Hussein Yusuf recalls how he was raped and abused by the Islamists. Families are groomed to enter martyrdom for money or get paid to martyr their children. Whereas Open Doors advocates for these minorities in these countries, the Israelis have a defensive shield. Boy, do they need it. 
homing in on just one Iranian night of strikes on the 13th of April 2024, when 300 missiles, cruise ballistic and UAVs were unleashed on Israel. Combined, they had the capability to wipe out, wipe out the entire population of Israel three times over. We must not sideline the threat of Islamic oppression. We must not relinquish our Christian freedoms. Thank you for listening.